How's it going everyone? Maryland here and as you can see it is now autumn. That is right. We're playing this on November 1st and November happens to be one of the months that triggers autumn in the game. So I'm going to take this episode really quick to show you some of the things that have changed now that it is autumn. Wait a second. Wow, I got six current visitors there. I got to check that out. Anyway, let's go back to the very beginning because that's where a lot of the stuff changes. Let's fly to Aspertia City. Alright, so as you can see, the, uh, you know, the trees are now kind of brown. They don't look as awesome. Looks kind of more dull, I guess, but that's autumn for you. What can you do about that? Uh, then over here on a Route 19, I think there's something on Route 19. Actually, no, kind of think of it, I guess it's Route 20. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm just leading you all around. Um, I wonder if I have my rappel going still. Hopefully. Yeah, it's Route 20. That's the one I'm thinking of from Flocacy Town. So, right on over here, from the very beginning, if you were playing in any other month, you would have difficulty getting across this. I know. Whoops. Ah! No, I've fallen in the leaves. Yeah, but inside of, uh, well, when it's autumn out, you can actually cross over here. Although there's nothing exciting across this bit here. Um, what on earth is over there? Oh, looks like there's something that can only be gotten. Huh. Well, let's find out. So, um, over here... Oh, darn it, I need to use a repel after all. <laughs> Hi, really weak Patrat. So nice to see you. Not really. Not at all! Right. So, over here... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use that repel really quick. There we go. All right, now back to business. As you can see, there are very faint little uh, dark patches here, and if you fall in one, it's kind of like the old swamps in um, previous versions. So that item that's been teasing you all along is just an ordinary Pokeball. If you're playing through, um, and if you're if you started your game now, for instance, if it's autumn when you started it, well, you can pick up a, uh, a Pokeball there. Also. You can get this potion hiding right here if you uh, cross across that, uh, yeah, the leaves here. Leads you over to Flocacy Town. Should be some more stuff to do here, though, so let's take a look. Out of my way, little youngin'. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so let's surf on over here and we'll see if there's something cool and fun. I don't think there is. Oh yeah, it's down here. Okay, so this area is accessible without waterfall. Ah! There's a trainer! Yeah, there's a trainer here. Now you can actually fight these trainers as soon as you get Surf, so they're going to be very weak. Wow, his name is Leaf. That's amazing. Yeah, you can fight these trainers as soon as you get Surf, that's why their levels are so low. It just hasn't been Autumn in my game yet, and I decided not to time travel to get there. Let's just use Aura Sphere to be done with this dearling. Yeah. And a Scolipede. Doesn't really matter. Ah, uh, shoot. I'll just use this. <laughs> we'll just use Acrobatics on it. Oh, come on! Really? You had to use Poison Point? Urgh. Okay, well, that's just lovely. Uh, he'll give you a Citrus Berry after you've bested him in battle, which is kind of good. I was imagining how a Burmy must feel wrapped in a cloak of fallen leaves. Alright, well, whatever, uh, whatever works for you. Let's send out a Miracle! So what are these two items, you ask? Well, let's find out. This one over here is a rare candy. Definitely a good thing to have. And then this one is a Max Revive. Another great item to have. Yeah. 
Now, are there any other hidden trainers? I know that there are these hidden holes here. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Ninja. I'll show you the ranger spirit that burns with a crimson flame. Oh, snap. Burning with a crimson flame. It's pretty intense, Mallory. Oh, she has an Arcanine on her team. Yikes. Oh, I hope it has Intimidate. Not that it really matters, but, you know. Oh, it doesn't. I love Defiant on my Braviary. I just can't say that enough. Yeah, so they may be challenging if you go here early on, right after you get Surf. Because if I recall correctly, those levels are pretty decent. And they've got some decent Pokemon, too. She gives you a Lepa Berry after you beat her. Um, let's see. No. <laughs> it's fun falling in the leaves. Yikes, and there's another guy. Keep going with the momentum. Ready, set, fight. Okay, let's fight then. Brent. Oh, he's got a Stoutland. Uh-oh, it's a big doggy. Big doggy. No intimidate from you either, darn it. <laughs> I really want to trigger Defiant just to totally overkill these weaklings. What's with the still calm? I just couldn't, I couldn't win with just momentum? Nope, couldn't. Uh, so he'll give you a Lepa Berry as well. That's nice. He wants to know what Pokemon feel like when they bury themselves underground. That's a little extreme. Huh, it doesn't look like there's any other, um, any other trainers hiding. Okay, that's fine. Now, let's, let's check out the Waterfall. So if you have Waterfall on your, uh, move roster, you can actually climb this Waterfall here. And again, you can do this before beating the game. All you need is a Pokemon with Waterfall in your set. But again, I, uh, I kind of didn't check this out until now. No time traveling for me. So let's see what we have over here. Oh, another hidden trainer. Surprised. That's when I'll make my move. All right, let's see what this item is. Naoko. A name. This is a Fungus? <laughs> Apparently, she's not very high level, even though you can only get up here with Waterfall. Oh well. Could probably just take it out with Return. Oh well, it doesn't matter. And a Levani! Oh my. This thing is so weak to flying, it's not even funny. I just want to cause it some pain. <laughs> Sorry, pal. There we go. Just as I'd expect, you're ready for anything, aren't you? Yep, I am. Particularly leaves. Alright, so she'll give you another citrus berry. Nice, nice. I burrowed under the fallen leaves to become one with nature. And over here you can find a sticky barb. Ah, gross. What does this thing even do? I don't remember. Oh yeah, it damages the holder every turn. It can latch onto foes and allies that touch the holder. So, it's kind of weird. I don't even know how to begin describing it. But needless to say, that's where you pick up that sticky barb. I don't think I've ever used one of those in my entire life. In fact, I'm probably not alone in that. Uh, what the heck? Oh, hi. Did you just come over here to say hi, little guy? Okay. Well, fine. I'll let you be. I'll let you be. Okay, um, I'm trying to think of where else there would be be anything different. I know that the Castellia sewers change. I think that's it, though. I don't think Route 6 changes at all. Maybe. No, I can't think of anywhere else. Um, alright, so let's just go over to Castellia City. Because I know that this is another one of those areas that changes based on which, uh, 
which season it is. And if it's autumn, the sewers will change. It'll be all dried up, I'm pretty sure. I think it's autumn. Let's double check. I seem to remember it was. Alright. Yeah, I was right. So, if you're playing in autumn when you first go through here, you'll end up with an entirely different path getting through. If you have Surf, I think you can actually go everywhere anyway. But I'm not entirely sure on that. So, yeah, you have to walk around and you have to go down here. And these gates, you can only go through uh, certain gates. Only the ones that are broken like this. See, I can go through there. Uh, I could not surf back there, though. Oh, wow, there's a hidden item over there? That's weird. Oh, also, see these bridges? Yeah, they block your path, too. So you can't go that way. Makes it kind of interesting. Oh, uh, yeah, let's use another one. Oh, so it looks like this area. Oh, it looks like I've already been over here, actually. Hey, you. No, I guess I haven't. Oh, huh, this is weird. I'm a researcher studying about the smell here. Okay. She's studying about the smell. Carolyn. Well, she's going to be even weaker than the other trainers we just fought, but that's because you could actually fight her the first time you go to the Castellia sewers if you're playing in Autumn. Now, I obviously didn't play in Autumn the first time I visited here, but if, uh, if you did, if this is your first time playing and it's Autumn, well, you can fight her. And you'll end up with a different route anywhere, or anyway. What's in this house? It's so empty! Huh, that's weird. What goes here? I remember reading that you have to bring something there, I think? I don't remember what, though. Oh, man, I'm gonna have to look that up. Uh, right. Makes your voice echo, echo, echo. Alright, so as you can see, you can still reach this doctor guy. I'll heal up quick. And I might as well go in here and talk to the person. Alright. So, what was the result from today's experiment? Could have gone better. Oh, well, she made a potion. I guess she'll make a random healing item. And you can check back every day. Cool. Alright, what else do we have? Uh, oh, nothing down here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, can't go that way. Yeah, the path changes entirely here. It's also really annoying if you want to explore everywhere with surf, because there's nowhere you can surf! <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Can't get over there right now. Uh, let's walk back up here. And we're gonna see what's south of this janitor guy. See if we can go down this path. Okay. Let's see. What do we got down here? Okay, so we can go this way. Oh, well, that's just great. Why bother? Doesn't make any sense. Here we go. We can reach this path. Humans need sewers, but what about Pokemon? Take that question and take this battle challenge with it. Okay. It's Scott! <laughs> Worker Scott. All right, he has a timber. And it's so weak. It's pathetically weak. I'm gonna return it, yeah. Take that thing back. There appears to be no barrier between you and your Pokemon. Nope, none at all. Ah, uh, shoot. Is that all there is to explore here? Uh, yeah, looks like it. Well, that was hardly exciting. Um, yeah, I mean, I've already picked up most of the items, so if you're playing this and you haven't gone through Castellia Sewers yet, you know, you'll probably find some stuff that I didn't pick up. But, that still kind of shows you what there is to do down here. 
I want to figure out that empty room though. It's just way too suspicious. Anyway, I'm gonna go up and uh, I'll take a look at that quick. Okay, so yeah, I did look it up and I was wrong. I guess there's nothing really in those empty rooms, which is just so weird. You think there'd be something in there? Uh, there's two empty rooms and they're accessible depending on which season you're in. Uh, yeah, so I guess it's actually everything there is to do in here. Oh, one other correction really quick. Um, earlier in the video, I said that the water level was only drained in the autumn months. It's also drained in winter. So if you're playing in either autumn or winter, it will be drained, all right? Um, keep that in mind. I just wanted to make sure you knew that in this video because, you know, I have a habit of of saying stuff. It's because I do live recording. I don't have a strategy guide or anything right next to me. I wrote the gigantic walkthrough for my site, but even then, I do pretty much everything from memory while I'm playing. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty good then. Pretty good indeed. So next time, I think we're gonna head on over to Undella Town and we're gonna take on a certain someone. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of wrapping up some loose ends. Don't worry, I'll be covering everything. It just might take a moment to get to it. Uh, yeah, I can only do so much in a video, right? Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon White 2 Adventure!